Hi guys, Take James here. So Nintendo has just released the 11.7.0 update for all Nintendo 3DS systems. So in this video, I will show you guys how to update to the latest firmware safely if you have custom firmware installed. So the first thing you want to do is make sure your 3DS or 2DS is powered off and you want to hold the start button and then press the power button to power it on. So what you will need to do first is use God Mode 9 to create a NAND backup. Uh, you need to do this just in case anything goes wrong when you update to 11.7. So make sure you select God Mode 9. Wait for it to load and when it loads what you want to do is just press the home button. You then want to scroll down to more and press A. You then want to scroll down to scripts and press A. It's going to have two options here, backup MU NAND and backup sys NAND. Um, ignore the MU NAND one, no one, I don't think anyone uses that anymore to be honest. So what you want to do, you want to press A on backup sys NAND. Then press A and it's going to back it up in your GM9 out folder, press A. So now it's just going to start backing up, so if you guys do encounter any problems with 11.7, you can just um, you know, go back to your 11.6 um, version. Okay guys, so if everything works successfully, you will get this message saying backup created. What you want to do is just press A to continue, then just press B to go back, and then all you want to do is hold the R button and then press start. That is just going to power off your console. So now you can safely update because you have a NAND backup. So if anything goes wrong, um, you can always go back to it. So let's go ahead and power on my 3DS. Right, so now you can go into your system settings. So from here, what you want to do is go into other settings. Then it just scroll along to the end. Then it just go into system update. Then just click OK. Then just click I accept. So mine is asking me to plug into the power. So um, hopefully it won't run out while updating. So there you go, now the update is going to begin. So I'm just going to go and put this on charge because you really don't want your console to turn off while it's updating, especially when you have custom firmware installed. So I'll wait for this to finish and then I'll show you guys um, when it's done. When the update's done, you will get this message saying the system update is complete. The system will now be restarted. Just tap A or just tap OK. So now the system will restart uh, very quickly and you can go into your system settings. And as you can see right here guys, version 11.7.0 minus 40E. So if I just close out of this, um, let me just open like a homebrew program or something like that. Uh, just to prove that this thing actually works. Oh yeah, just another thing to note guys, if you don't have custom firmware and you just run like a homebrew launcher or freaky hacks or ninja hacks, um, I would say they probably work on the latest version, but just to be safe right now, I wouldn't update um, just yet. But anyway, let me just show you, um, let's go with FBI. There you go, it boots into FBI perfectly. Um, we can come out of this as well. Um, what else? Homebrew launcher. Homebrew, let's just launch into this. There you go, that works perfectly fine. So that is pretty much it for this video. So if this helped or you guys enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.